There are many things nowadays that are described as addictive without actually having to use a substance like drugs or alcohol. Internet addiction has some behavioral similarities to hard drug use, but if we look into the brain, we are likely to find differences. When we talk about addictive behaviors, it's not one straightforward mechanism that you know that makes you ad addictive when we look at the brain there are multiple brain systems that are involved in that one of those brain systems that you could see in here called the nucleus accumbens or the ventral striatum and this is a system that really relies on dopamine. Dopamine promotes reward. It's more like an accelerator. That's what drives you towards something rewarding. When they look at Facebook, these are the regions that get activated, like this area here. There is a relationship between how addicted someone is to social media and how strong or how different the brain signal in that specific region. There is no, no changes or no significant changes in the prefrontal cortex. These are the frontal lobes that allows a person to decide whether it's good to seek that reward or not. That's the brain of a normal person. So you could see all that activity, that yellow and red activity. This is the brain of a cocaine addict. You could see how cold it is. The insula, which is the third system, has to do with urges and with cravings, which really puts fuel on that imbalance between these uh, systems. But when we look at these different behavioral addictions, the similarities between internet addictions and cocaine addiction really lie in those brain systems that drive you toward the reward. The fundamental difference relies in the prefrontal cortex. So my hope is that because there are similarities in, in those brain mechanisms, there, there is some overlap. Understanding these processes in younger people could help us learn a lot more about the problem without the confound of chemicals and, and the legal issues that go with it.